Magandang araw mga classmates. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw ay uh, sector and segment of a circle. So ano nga ba ang sector of a circle? So it is defined as the region bounded by an arc of a circle and the uh, two radii to the end points of the arc. Okay, so kung i-illustrate natin, so halimbawa we have circle A. So, if you will notice dun sa ating uh, illustration, so meron tayong shaded part ng uh, circle. So, yung shaded part ng circle na yun, kung saan ito yung kulay uh, sky blue na part. So, yun yung tinatawag na sector. So, ang boundary ng ating sector ay yung dalawang radii ng ating central uh, angle and then yung kanyang intercepted arc. So, paano naman natin pwedeng uh, makuha yung area ng sector of a circle? So, we all know that uh, kung yung buong uh, area ng circle ang kukunin natin, so, meron tayong formula which is uh, pi r square. Okay, so, paano kung portion lang ng circle ang kukunin natin o yung sector lang? Okay, so, to find the area of a sector... So, kukunin lang natin yung product nung uh, ratio nung uh, measure of the arc over 360. So, bakit 360? Because uh, 360 is the degree measure of a whole circle. And then, this will be multiplied to the area of the circle. So, ito nga yung sinabi ko kanina. So, ang area ng circle is pi r square. Okay, so ilagay natin. So, we have... Uh, measure of uh, the arc over 360. So, this will be multiplied to uh, pi r square. So, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Okay, so let's try to answer the uh, first problem. So, let's say we have circle A again. So, if you will notice, ang ating uh, central angle, which is uh, angle BAC, has its intercepted arc BC which is equal to 45 degrees. And the one of the uh, measure of the radii, although parehas naman sila ng sukat, given as 5 cm. Okay, so let's try to uh, solve for the uh, area of the uh, sector BAC. Okay, so sabi natin kanina, kunin muna natin yung ratio ng uh, circle o yung arc at saka yung degree measure ng circle. So, ang ating arc ay 45 degrees over 360. Again, so this will be multiplied. to area of the circle. So, ang ating uh, area is pi r squared. So, ang given na uh, radius is 5 cm. Square natin, then multiply sa pi. Okay. So, pwede na nating isimplify yung ating uh, Expression. So, we have 45 over 360. Pwede natin isimplify using their GCF which is 45. So, we have 1 over 8. Then, uh, 5 cm square is equal to 25. 25 pi. So, yung ating unit of measurement magiging square centimeter. Okay. So, eto kapag sinimplify natin. So, magiging 25 over 8 pi square centimeter. So, using the approximate value of pi, which is, ang gagamitin ko dito is 3.14. So, 3.14 will be multiplied to 25, then divide uh, natin sa 8. So, this is approximately equal to 9.85. 81 square centimeter. So, ito na yung ating uh, area ng sector BAC.
Okay, so let's try dun sa ating second example again. So we have uh, area of sector. This time we have EAF. So this is uh, equal to ang ating degree measure nung arc is 120 degrees over 360. Again, this will be multiplied to the area of the circle. So we have ang ating... Uh, Radius na given is 10 cm square times pi. Okay, simplify muna natin. So, we have 120 over 360. So, this is 1 over 3. And then, 10 cm square is 100 square centimeter times pi. Tsaka natin ilagay yung uh, unit of measurement sa dulo. Again, so simplify natin tong part na to. So we have 1 third times 100. So we have 100 over 3 pi square centimeter. So bakit kailangan nating isulat? Kasi as uh, sa ibang uh, cases, ito yung nakikita nating uh, sagot dun sa problem. Pero kung ang instruction na binigay sa inyo ay uh, use the approximate value ng pi. So, isi-simplify natin. Makukuha natin yung kanyang approximate value using yung value ng pi. So, again, so ang gagamitin ko dito is 3.14. So, 100 divided by 3 times 3.14. So, this is equal to 104.67 square centimeter. Okay, so this time, let's move on with the segment of a circle. So, pag sinabi naman nating segment, so this is the region bounded by an arc and the segment joining its endpoints. Okay, so illustrate natin. So, let's say we have circle U. So, this time, kung mapapansin nyo, mas maliit yung ating shaded region. So, ang boundary ng ating uh, shaded region ay yung arc na intercepted uli ng ating uh, central angle and then etong chord so na meron silang parehas na endpoint so yung portion na nasa loob ng uh, ating mga boundary yun yung tinatawag nating segment of a circle okay so question so paano naman uh, kinukuha yung area ng segment okay so, sabi dito, to find the area of the segment, we must subtract the area of the triangle. So, balikan natin yung illustration. So, ito yung area, nung tri ito yung triangle na tinutukoy natin dun sa formula. So, sa subtract natin from the area of the sector or area of a sector. Okay, so kung i-analyze natin sa illustration, so, balikan natin yung kaninang uh, definition ng sector. So, yung sector, ito yung buong yon sector. So, sabi natin, ito yung segment. So, kapag kinuha natin yung area ng sector at binawasan natin ang area ng triangle, so, ang matitira ay etong portion na to. So, ito yung uh, area na tinatawag nating uh, segment. Okay, so subukan natin dito sa example na meron tayo. Okay, so we have circle U. So ang kanyang uh, central angle is uh, angle RUS. Ang kanyang uh, intercepted arc is 90 degrees. At ang sukat ng radii o nung isang radius na given dito which is segment US is equal to 15 centimeter. Okay, so isa-isahin natin. So, kunin muna natin yung area ng sector R, U, S. Okay. So, kapag kinuha natin yan, so, kunin natin yung ratio ng arc at nung degree measure ng circle. So, this will be multiplied to pi R square. So, ang ating uh, radius is 15 centimeter 
square natin, then times sa pi. So, 90 over 360, GCF nila is 90. So, this is 1 fourth. Times 15 uh, centimeter square is 225 pi square centimeter. Okay, so, yung unit of measurement, laging sa, uh, sa dulo ko sinusulat na ng mga classmate. Okay, simplify natin. So, 1 fourth times 225 is 225 over 4 pi uh, square centimeter. Okay, so mamaya na natin to i-simplify para isa na lang. So, proceed tayo sa area ng triangle RUS. Since if you will notice, we have a uh, right triangle. So, ang formula niya is 1 half times base times height. Okay, or 1 half Ang ating base is 15 centimeter, And then, ang ating uh, height is also 15 centimeter, Since, ang radii ng uh, circle ay pare-pares naman ng sukat. Okay, simplify natin. So, we have 15 times 15 is 225. Times 1 half. So, this is 225 over 2 square centimeter. So, meron na tayong uh, the area ng sector. Meron na ting, uh, rin tayong area ng triangle. So, pwede na nating makuha yung area ng segment. So, anong gagawin? So, sabi kanina, para makuha yung uh, area ng segment. So, yung area ng sector, which is 225 over 4, pi square centimeter so babawasan natin ng area ng triangle which is 225 over 2 square centimeter so ito pwede na nating uh, simplify itong part na to okay so kapag sinimplify natin again so ang gagamitin nating value ng uh, pi dito is 3.14 so, ito yung ginamit ko. No? So, kapag uh, naisimplify natin siya, ang magiging final answer natin dito is 64.13 square centimeter. Okay, so for our last uh, topic, so this time, uh, arc length naman. So, ano naman yung arc length? So, pag sinabi natin arc length, so ito yung distance between two points along a section of the curve. So, illustrate uli natin. So, ang ating, uh, let's say, arc dito ay arc BC. Ito yon. So, yung arc length, etong uh, pagitan o etong distansya ng arc na ito. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating makuha o malaman kung anong sukat niya. So, paano natin pwedeng uh, makuha yung uh, arc length? So, we have here the formula. We have A over 360 equals L or the length of arc over 2 pi r. Okay, again. So, i-ano natin, uh, discuss natin. So, yung A, again, ito yung uh, given uh, measure of the arc. Over 360, kasi kinukuha natin yung ratio ng arc dun sa degree measure ng buong circle. Then, i-equate natin sa arc length. So, ang arc length is represented by a small uh, cursive na letter L. Ang ratio niya, of course, kukunin natin dun sa circumference ng circle, which is 2 pi r. Okay, so let's try to solve this uh, example we have here. Uh, angle A, so the degree measure or the arc given is 60 degrees, so that is uh, arc BC, and then yung uh, length ng radii is 8 cm. Okay, using the uh, formula or proportion na meron tayo, again, so we have A, which is the degree measure ng arc over 360. 
So, equate natin dito sa length ng arc. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Over 2 pi r. Okay. So, ang ating r is 8 cm. Okay. Simplify muna natin yung left side. Because 60 over 360, so GCF nila 60. So, this can be written as 1 6 equals to length of arc over 2 times 8 is 16 pi centimeter. Okay. So, by cross multiplication, so when we uh, perform that, so we have 6 L equals to 16 pi centimeter. Then, applying the uh, multiplication property of equality, so we'll have L equals to 16 pi over 6 centimeter. So, ito pwede pa nating uh, simplify. Again, uh, using the uh, value of pi. Again, so ang gagamitin ko dito is 3.14. So, 16 times 3.14 divided by 6. So, this is equal to or approximately equal to 8.37 centimeter. Okay. So, ito yung length o yung haba nitong arc BC na ito. So, let's try the last one. So, we have a circle K. So, ang given na arc is 30 over 360. Again, so ang hinahanap natin yung uh, length of arc. So ang ating uh, circumference para makuha yung circle is 2 pi r. So we have 2. Ang radius is 5 cm. Then multiply natin sa pi. So yung left side again, pwedeng i-simplify. So this is 1 over 12 equals to L over 2 times 5 is 10 pi centimeter. Again, by cross multiplication, so we'll have 12 L equals to 10 pi centimeter. Applying multiplication property of equality, we'll have L or the length of arc is equal to 10 pi over 12 centimeter. So, ito ay pwede pa nating simplify So, doing that, it will result to 2.62 cm. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang uh, length niya is 2.62 cm. Okay, so that's it. I hope ay uh, meron kayo natutunan sa lesson natin ngayong araw and... Uh, Feel free to share this video to others, especially sa iba pa nating classmate para mas marami pa tayong matulungang iba. Until next time!